Hey everybody, I think I mentioned earlier that uh, in a previous video, I'll put a, uh, a link to the video in the description uh, below uh, and or in the, uh, as a card above. And uh, I've got this uh, Sony 4K and as I do with all of my uh, action cameras that have cases, the Hero mostly of course, but and virtually all of them have cases with a few exceptions. Uh, to protect the uh, relatively delicate uh, delicate inside of these and to protect them from water. So I, I as a rule, I do not plan to go diving. And if I do, I can just buy another case. But what I do is I alter the case that comes with it uh, to reveal, which I have here. It was a particular problem with this Sony because with this Sony, it's very near the lens. Right here at the bottom of the lens, I don't know if you can see it on this perfectly, but right here, a few holes there. Um, now, that's a problem because of the oversize of this little globe that protects the lens. So I had to drill a hole below where the figures actually were. And since this is a pretty thick piece of plastic, what I then had to do was to uh, go in with a cutting bit. Uh, this is a Black & Decker Dremel light tool. I have Dremel tools around here, but this is the one I've had for years. So I decided to just crank this one out. And then, so what I did with that is I drilled out these uh, little areas underneath and I drilled up. So now at this angle, I can see the, and I hope that's going to make the sound a little bit clearer when I am in this case. That way I can maintain protection and I can still get reasonably good sound. Now, that is the basic uh, process I follow, and most often I don't do anything beyond that. But in this case, what I'm gonna do, since this is a sort of a tutorial on doing this, this these are not pretty. So if you are a person who really cares about how the things you buy look, I, I am not. I, I prefer practical over pretty anytime. So what I'm doing here is I got a some uh, grip tape here. Now you don't have to buy grip tape. This could be a black t-shirt or any black shirt with uh, or any black object with permeable uh, membrane type of, uh, of uh, cloth. And I can just slip it right over the top here. Now. And then bend it down. And what, I, what I'll then have is those two unsightly holes, unsightly for some people, hidden, but they will still be permeable enough. In effect, you're gonna maybe be getting in effect what you would get with uh, speakers. Uh, in this case, it's a microphone, but you've got these little, this little uh, uh, material uh, across here that is, uh, can maybe act as an echo chamber. I can't say that's true or not, but uh, at least what I can do is I can still use this, the microphones to a degree and still keep it, uh, uh, you know, relatively unseen. So what I would do with this is, I've got this uh, little bit of super glue over here. And it's one of those single use super glue containers. And I use my little everyday carry uh, the man surge here. And I will simply cut this off. So hopefully, I will then be down far enough. Come on, let's see if I get lucky. And I'm going to open it up so I don't waste any on the lens itself. Make it just enough on here to do what I need doing and not a lot more. I'm going to take this little piece of glue, a little piece of uh, material here, and then I'm going to bridge it across this, this glued section. And voila. Now I've got a protected and cosmetically uh, bearable uh, uh, case that now has full audio. Now this is not gonna be waterproof. 
uh, at any at uh, to any extent. So if I was going to use this as a waterproof, I'd need some marine epoxy. But the best thing to do would be simply buy another waterproof case and use this one basically as a protective case. All right, uh, that's all I've got, and that's my procedure for uh, sort of uh, of uh, making uh, mice available and for making them uh, camouflage so you don't see the holes, the unsightly holes I put in there. And as if you care about the look, so I'm just uh, giving this the ultimate work. Uh, normally I would just leave the holes open, but I'm going to make a tutorial. I guess I might as well try to make it look good. In any case, uh, that's the Sony, Sony 4K and my little uh, alteration case. Remember, the case is no longer waterproof. But, like I say, buy another case if you're going to do waterproof, or don't do this at all if you're going to use it outside the case and you want to keep the waterproof function. But, reputedly, this, uh, this type of case is not great with the little, the little bulbous uh, globe here for, in front of the uh, lens. So, uh, you know, now you can get a flat, a flat type. Uh, it costs about 59 or 60 bucks. All Sony stuff is expensive, and you can get one that will actually do what you want to do if you are going to go out and do diving with your uh, action camera, at least the uh, the Sony 4K action camera I've got here. All right, that's all I've got, and I will uh, see you next time.